we are affinity and let's play some affinity all right got the die roll here let's see the opening hand okay two lands temple of artifacts a couple low drop artifacts i think that's going to be a keep We could start with the Urza Saga, but I think we're going to go with this, this, and Pithing Needle naming off the top of my head. Flooded Strand. It's a completely random guess. I'm just putting it out there for the artifact. But if there's any deck I wouldn't mind shutting down on lands, uh, be a flooded strand right now. Oop, breeding pool. Amulet of Vigor. All right, I named the wrong choice. Good to know, though. Get out in Urza's Saga. And unfortunately, we are one artifact short from being able to cast these. So we do have to pass turn here. Oh, this is going to be their... Nuts hand. Good to know. We may have already lost. This is a really nutty hand. Like, this is their, like, ultimate nuts hand, almost. The fact that they got lands and not power, like... Oof. They could not have had a nut of your hand. We're going to watch it play out because you don't usually see, like, usually two amulets is enough to win them turn two. Three, though? I mean, this is... And usually if they get three, it means they're lacking a threat, but they had both the Dryad and the Primeval Titan. They're going to get all their Primeval Titans out. Nope, they're just going for three. Ah, they're out of Talaria West. Good to know. We're dead to just damage.
Um, we're dead to the three triggers, too. Like, we're dead six ways from Sunday. Go to sideboard. Take some metallic rebukes and maybe a few disenchants. <clears throat> Excuse me. What do we pull out here? Pithing Needle doesn't do that much. Shadow Spear doesn't do that much. Maybe we go two Metallic Rebukes. Two more cards. We'll go down a couple of Welding Jars. Is there still a zero drop? Oh, it's tricky. Oh, yeah, we'll go down a couple of Welding Jars. I don't know. This is one of those decks where bringing in too many sideboard cards can really hurt you. Mulligan, no lands. All right, one land, one one want drop. Does that get us there? Play it, play this. There are two zero drops. Play the one drop, that's three. Play Frogmite, Frogmite. Uh, it's rough. It's really rough. Does it beat this deck? Or can we find better? I think we can find better. And that's going to be our keep. So, let me see. We got to put two cards on the bottom. We want to get the Emery out. We want to get the cards that enable getting Emery out. Maybe be a little on the slower side. I think that's how we want to do it. Cast the welding jar. It'll be a turn two, Emery. There's an Urza saga into an amulet. That's a pretty good turn. Three artifacts. Yep, we may maybe should have dug a little bit harder for cards. And nothing that really helps us in that graveyard. That is going to let them activate Urza's Saga. Which does seem to be their plan. Currently three artifacts. This will get us to four. Put 
pay three. I can only pay two. And there's no viable target in my graveyard. I'm gonna have to pass. Like, oh. And they're gonna generate a token. Not the explosive start I was hoping for. Haven't found the hate cards. What artifact are they about to go grab here? They're gonna, either going to tap it for mana or create another construct. Okay, they're going for another construct. Of course, another amulet. Actually, there's a saga with the bounce lands. That can be pretty effective. All right, well, that was a good find. Got to pay two for this now. You know what? We'll just do like that. Yep. What do we want here? Anything that really helps us more? Nope, we'll just take another 4-4. Four, four. And if we could swing, we wouldn't be in the worst spot, but we can only swing with, yeah, nope. We're going to have to hope we live one more turn. I don't think we do. But they have to have the threat, so it doesn't matter. But if this is the Primeval Titan, I'm pretty sure we're dead. Yep. Well, I guess we have a decent number of blockers out. They're at 22. Gonna have to play a little defensively, it looks like.
Double strike, okay. That, ugh. Double strike, yep. Should have seen that coming. That all, all, they don't always run it, but, um, alright, so. Four, eight. Put the weakest guys in front of these. Maybe the flyer would have been the better option. Yeah, we're dead. We can't survive another swing of that. All right, well... Our opponent had some pretty nutty hands. We had some pretty average hands, and I think that's just going to be how this game goes. Thank you for watching. Tectonic Edge here, signing out.